We're here at the Carolina High School. It's the art scene 2024, and I'm lost in a sea of creativity, and we can't wait to show you the amazing work I found while I was looking around. Come on, Chris, just hop on down. me about this and I gotta be honest I didn't expect all this this is amazing it's a lot of fun yeah it is and it's a culmination of just so many months of hard work from these kids and it's really cool to see the kids that are artists but the kids that come to art class and just love to have fun too yeah, yeah. so tell us about the age groups we have okay so we have our feeder schools so we have k-8 to feeder schools that are down the center here um, those students are who were selected from each grade level. Mm -hmm. And then we have all of the high school students. If you took an art class at Ken Island High School, you have artwork in the show. That's really cool. Everybody, yes. So tell us about the award ceremony. This year we had some really great uh, fundraising. We had some donors. So we're gonna give out $1,300 in awards. Oh, that's awesome. Right? 45 categories. We wanna award all the different kinds of artists that are out there. So, you know, sharing the love. Yeah. Yeah. All right, impossible question. What's your favorite piece in here? Oh my gosh, that's impossible. <laughs> That is impossible. Tell us about some of the art you got behind us. You're doing something pretty cool up here. So it's mostly about environmental things and how the habits we form in society, things that we kind of have to do, make us kind of guilty for the things that we just have to do in our daily lives. Yeah, so your art is holding us accountable. I heard you got Scott's pots going on over here. Yeah, I'm just making, making some more pots. This is really cool. All those ones over there as well. How long is this going to take? This one's almost, almost done. It can take me about 20 minutes to make a nice tall base. Nice, very cool. How many times, like percentage, do you mess up? Oh, all the time. <laughs> I'd say like one every four pots, you know, goes down the drain. Especially when you take them off, you have to take them yeah. off the wire and then carry them over. Oh, we gotta see you do that. No pressure. We're gonna keep watching, Scott. How long? Uh, <laughs> Hurry up, Scott. Like five minutes. <laughs> 